Hey everyone, it's John Isaiah from The Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take this and be more productive and efficient. Um, and it, it's kind of funny because I, I showed this to Zayas. I said, you know, can you understand how this is going to make you more productive? And I was like, I was so confused. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, and I realized um, it was quite an interesting thing of like, this is really batching, right? You're yes. bat you're putting it together. Like instead of just having each pills, you get seven days. But what I just realized was, why don't I order a couple more? So while I have them all out, I can do three or four weeks at a time instead of just it, it, one. Just forget about that, right? Yeah, because I hate do. I always hate doing it. I'm like, okay, this is awesome. So we were going to talk a little bit about other things that you might consider batching, you know, and some things to look for, and like you know, grouping together things by similar tasks, like is one of the most obvious things. Uh, it's it's a great way to figure out what could be batched together. Because right. that, that usually you get into a humans are horrible at flow and switching between things, right? Yeah. So grouping things together really, really helps. Actually, a lot of times, especially when I'm programming and, and I'm coding, that's why programmers get like focused on one thing. And until they finish that, they're always like in that because it is so hard that once you're concentrated on something and you go out to do something else oh let me go and eat something when i come back my mind is not set for this so th there's some people that forget about eating you know like just because Absolutely. they're yeah. so basically so that, one of those people he, yeah. he will go 12 hours because he's so into something and i'm like right no. but but it is a type of batching your mind is like right. no i want to finish this one thing before i go out of it and do something else is good not to the extreme it's not good to go to that extreme right but we do it anyways in other things in our lives. Actually, you were talking about some examples of that. Yeah, the, also the next one would be the time of day, right? Is a big one for me. I'm much more efficient, you know, in things. So I don't, I don't put like check my email, which is, which is a good thing to batch, by the way, is something I do in the mornings. In the mornings, I am working, right? Like I also, let me rephrase that because in the early, early mornings, Isaiah knows like he'll ping me, I'm up. But I'm watching YouTube. I'm learning, but I'm not trying to code or anything like right, that. Right, exactly, exactly. I have about an hour where I'm drinking coffee and waking up, and then I have my two or three hours where I'm sharp, you know, and can focus. And then later I do other stuff where it, you know, I don't need to be. You go a little bit slower, but this is the point. So you're you're batching your tasks in the time frames that make sense to you. There are some people who are like me, more active during the night. Sure, so right. during the night, I actually put a lot of things that I would say, okay, I'm I'm gonna be learning. Well, I do it during the night because if I do it during the day, I'm not gonna get anything out of it. So so it depends how you want to batch the stuff, um, but. Keeping in mind that you can actually divide your time frames into something that makes sense is very important. But many other things we do that without even thinking. If you go to the grocery store, you do not go through your list, jumping around in aisles. Probably you make the list in a way that in that particular aisle that you know that certain things are going to be, I get two or three of those because those are the ones that make sense in that location, right? I would say I would even take a step back first and say, okay. Going to the grocery store in the first place, you know, location is a great one. I'm going to do all these things when I'm at that location, right. right? So I save it up. Like, also, I don't go to the doctor very often. Maybe that's why I need pills. No. Um, <laughs> but when I do, I'm like, hey, then I have this, and I have this, and I have this, right? So right. there's things about a location where, hey, I'm going to do this in a batch. I'm not going to go there one off. Like, right? that's what, Right, you know, exactly. <laughs> then, okay. If I'm point, going to the doctor, I'm going to go to all of them at once. Right, yeah. But to your point. <laughs> Once you're there, it's like saying I'm going to go visit friends in California. I'm, I'll go visit each one separately in separate trips. No, I'm no, going to do no. it all while I'm there. Now, the other point you're making, though, I think, is within on a grocery store, you don't say I'm going to get my broccoli and then I'm going to get um, my, my butter. And then now right, I'm going to get the right, tomatoes. And I'm like... Right. What right. you were in the yeah. you were in the zone that you could get the tomatoes and the broccoli at the same time. Like, come right. on. Yeah. So 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 we do that naturally. We try at least. So it is good to understand that that concept applies for everything else. And not only on grocery shopping or going to the doctor, but also studying or doing something else. Well, I think another really good one, which we do naturally, is you know, the the time that some if you're working with someone else the times that you're available, right? You do things that, where you both need to be there. You don't just, hey, we'll do this now. And then maybe later at some other point, we'll figure out. No, you get it all done while you're together, right? Right. Like, <laughs> if, if you're not doing that, then <laughs> start doing it. Right. It's going to be a little bit better for you. So 
some of some things that might cross your mind are like to, to batch let's list some stuff here so there's writing of scripts duh right i'm gonna work on that um reading or replying to emails that's a big one for me that i i do that shopping lists billing clients paying your bills sex you like if you're if you're there go, go for it. <laughs> if you're there yeah come on <laughs> My laundry was a good one to me because i used to i used to live in a high rise and i was like 25 i forget i i lived in a couple of them one of them was like 25 flights up and they thankfully they had a laundromat in the place in the basement but i hated having to go up and down it just took a long time so i had a month's worth of clothes that i could bring down and what i do is i bring Two, you know, two things down, I would shove like three or four washers going. I'd come back up and wait. And then when it was dry, I assumed it was dry, I'd take another loads down with me. So I'm yeah. not wasting time, right? And then right. I rotate. But there's always the first trip down and the last trip up where I didn't get two things accomplished. Right. Yeah, it was awesome. And I would get all my laundry done for, for a month within like three or four hours. There you go. Now, the thing is that, do you have other examples or do you want me to? Well, I think, yeah, like the home repair or bill prep is a great one, which we hear a lot mm. about, right? And like organizing things like that. It, it Again, these things can all save you a ton of time, car maintenance, things like that. But yeah. Right. Now, the 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 other thing was then, how do I do that when I'm coding? Like, right. what the heck do I do? Right. And, and it is interesting. If you have ever used functions, you're definitely type of batching stuff because you're making a group of actions into one name that now every time you refer to that name you do that yeah. group of actions you're batching them together yeah. into one place it's kind of funny because even though i've never thought of it that way compared to a subroutine right the a function allows you to pass a parameter or more parameters and change minor things if like, I don't know if I would call subroutines batching because it's all its independent thing. They're, you're, you know, you, it's it's a one thing on its own. Right. A function, it allows you to kind of repurpose that thing, but tweaking it, right? So I Right. L little little right. different. And, and some people might say, yeah, but you could do that with a subroutine using global variables. But that's a little bit different than to have this function self-contained, nothing else would interact with the variables inside unless you wanted to. And if you need to modify it a little bit, would be the parameters, right? So there's a little bit of difference, but I get your point like, hey, you know, just having this group of things in, and, and I think this ties back to what something that you mentioned when we were off camera. I said, what is the difference between batching and grouping stuff? Like, what is the difference between just having a group of variables in one place and that's it? And you said, well, batching has more to do with actions. And I say, like, you know, that that's the point. So functions are definitely just actions that you're performing. And then when you group stuff in there, then you're batching stuff in. Now, now just to confuse what you said, if you have a <laughs> class, you might put your properties all together and your right. methods together. That's right? what I do. It's, it's a bit of, and it's, that's more about grouping, I think, than actual batching, but it's still humans suck at <laughs> multi-threaded stuff, switching around stuff. So keeping it right. focused, even like you're writing your initializing variables and things, right? You might want to put those all together. Um, and then when people are reading through it, it just helps you streamline that part. That's for sure. Um, the last one, which I thought we were, we ran into it just the other day uh, of we were writing to a Dropbox using file append and the file append was within the loop, right? Yes. And, and I'm like, hey, you know, we were having some problems. Let's just store all that data into one variable and then use file append once. Once, so exactly. We're batching all the writes together. And, and of course, maybe you want to use the mod if you have a lot of data to help offset that. So it's doesn't get to be a crazy big variable. But um, yeah, just some simple concepts to help you in anything in your life, but also with coding. So um, hopefully that helps. Comment below if you have some other ideas on how you batch things together. Um, what do you use it for? Um, leave the sex ones out. <laughs> please. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed the video and learned something, uh, please like it uh, or just like it anyway. It really helps us out. So thank you.